Bienvenidos de vuelta mis amigos. Welcome back my friends and today we are going to talk about unit 3 for the OL and it's called different people. But before we start talking about anything, we just have to write down some notes. So please follow me. Number one, the word different. The word different means not like somebody or something else. And it comes with two prepositions. The first one is from and the second one is to. To give more and more examples, we can say their customs are different to ours. And the customs here means ways to live. And for the second example, we can say this school is radically different from most others. And please write down this word, radically. And it means in a way that is new, different, and likely to have a great effect. And to go for the next one, and it's word hair. Hair is an uncountable noun that means I cannot say hairs or a hair to refer to the one's hair. I say, I have long hair. Please note, I have long hair. I didn't say, I have a long hair. But I can say, I have a long hair in my soup. And here, absolutely, I cannot say, I have long hair in my soup. <laughs> that means, all of your hair is in the soup. Let's move on to the last word and it's called glasses. This is a, pl a plural noun and it takes a plural verb. I can say my glasses are broken, but I cannot say my glasses is broken. Now let's move on to the vocabulary area. And listen one, we have a hairstyle related vocabulary and the first word is short hair okay we cannot get some words to define the short hair so here we are we have some pictures to show you so for the short hair we have this picture yes it's short hair and the opposite word of short hair is Yes, it's long hair. And for this, we have a picture. And it, as you see now, they are different. One is short and one is long. Now let's move on. We have straight hair. Straight hair, it's always like the long hair or the short hair, but without circles. It's just like this. But if I have circles in my hair, this is called the curly hair. Yes, the curly hair. And it's like this. He has many circles in his hair. Now let's move on. To complete, we have the word blonde hair. Blonde refers sometimes or usually to the word or to the color yellow and it's like this this is the blonde hair and to move on to the dark hair we have this picture yes there is big difference between the two pictures in the color of the hair now let's move on and we have beard repeat after me yes beard beard there uh, this is some hair which grows on the face, especially the lower part of the face, and it's like this. But, moustache, please, yes, again, moustache, it's like this. So, it grows on the lips, not on the cheeks. The beard, the beard grows on the cheeks. But 
the mustache grows on the lips. Now let's move on to the last word and it is glasses. Yes, some of us wear many glasses and as we said before that glasses is a plural noun. And it's like this. Now let's move on. Here we have to read the passage and extract some important things. Let's begin reading. Muhammad Salah is my favorite sports star. He plays football for a very good team in Europe. He plays for Egypt too. He is very good at scoring goals. He is a fast runner. Muhammad Salah has usually got a big smile. He is quite short for a footballer. Yes, he is so quite short for a footballer. He is 1.75 meters tall. And in this photo, Muhammad Salah has got dark curly hair and a beard. He is a kind person and he gives money to build schools and hospitals in Egypt. He also gives money to poor people. He is very friendly and he always talks to his fans. He has not got much time for hobbies, but when he is at home, he enjoys playing video games and watching films. Here we have some words it's like the word fans. Fans are the people who support a club or a sports star. Now let's move on to the notes that we extracted from this passage. Number one, it's a play for a team. We cannot say play to a team. It's play for a team or play for a big team, it's like Egypt, national team, or just a club or a team like Liverpool. And to the next one we have good at. I say Muhammad is good at mathematics. I cannot say Muhammad is good for mathematics because here the meaning is so different and it can't be like this if we want to use good for we can say vegetables are good for health now let's move on here we have have or has got they are the same as have or has so with i you we and they we use have got, like I have got dark hair. Or I cannot say, I, you, we or they haven't got blonde hair. So have got is the affirmative kind of the sentence and haven't got is the negative form of it. Or I can say, he or she has got curly hair. So please note that with I, we, you and they, we use have got. But with who and with he and she, we use has got. Now let's move on. Please remember it's something that is very confusing. What should I say? My brother is tall or my brother is long? When I'm talking about some vertical things, I say tall, like tree. Tree is tall. Man, this person is tall. So I can say my brother is tall, while I cannot say my brother is long. But for the horizontal things, I say long. It's like the river, yes. I say River Nile is so long, and I cannot say River Nile is so tall. So, here 
I say my my hair is long and I cannot say my hair is tall. And now let's note the difference between quiet, quiet and quit. The first word quiet it's like the word nearly. When I'm telling you he's quite tall. So he is a tall person. And the other word, quiet, it means not loud. I'm saying, I live in a quiet place. And thanks to God, it's not so loud. For the last one, for the last word, it's quit. And here it's a verb. And it means to leave. I'm telling you, okay, soon, as soon as possible, I will quit this home. That means I will live, I will leave this home. Now, let's move on. We have some extended vocabulary, and there are some adjectives with their opposites. Number one, friendly. Yes, friendly. Friendly here means it's someone that who is loved from everyone and for the opposite we have unfriendly unfriendly he is the person who is hated from everyone now let's move on and we have kind kind means to treat people or things well maybe animals and for the opposite word of it we say unkind now let's move on to the next adjective and we can say strong. Strong means has strength to do anything. Yes, it's like muscles. And the opposite of it is it's not unstrong, it's called weak. Weak means doesn't have the strength to do anything. And now let's move on to the last adjective, and it's called poor. Yes, poor, that means he doesn't have money to do anything. So the opposite one is, yes, it's rich. It's rich, yes. Now let's move on. And actually we have, yes, we have an adjective here, and it's called tall. And all of us know what is the meaning of tall. So the opposite adjective of tall is short. Okay, now let's move on. How can I use can or can't? First, we use can to say what we are able to do. And we use cannot or can't to say what we are not able to do. And you must notice that in the form of can or can't, we say for the beginning of the sentence, we put the subject and then we put can or can't and then we have the base form of the verb. It's like we can give money to help poor people. Here we put the subject in the beginning of the sentence and it's followed by can and then give the base form of the verb. Now let's move on to the next one. And I will say, I can't pick up the books. Here, the subject is I and the word can't. And then it's followed by pick up or pick. That is the base form of the verb. So I can't pick up the books. My arms are weak. So please, someone tells me, what is the opposite adjective of weak? And yes, it's strong. Now let's move on. We have a passage to read and then we will get some notes. Notes about it. Hi, my name is Eunice. I have got short, dark, curly hair. I live in Alexandria with my mom, dad and two brothers. My favorite school subject is history. 
I love learning about the past. I like math and science too. I don't like art because I'm not very good at drawing or painting. Please note here that we are using good at and not good for. I often, I often play sport after school. My favorite sport is basketball. I'm good at it because I am tall and I can jump high. I like swimming too. I go swimming twice a week and here twice mean two times a week. At home I like reading and playing video games. I don't like watching TV. I think it's boring. Now let's see what we extracted from the passage. Here we have like or likes. This verb is vo followed by the verb in gerund. I say Dina likes painting and I don't say Dina likes paint. I also say we like swimming. We like swimming. I don't say we like swim. And the negative form of this is don't like and doesn't like. I say Noha doesn't like swimming or I don't like playing tennis because absolutely I'm so sure, so I cannot play this. Now let's move on. How to make a question on this verb? To make a question, I say, does he or she like playing basketball? I just put the auxiliary does in the beginning of the sentence, and then the subject, and then the verb like. In this case, we ask if the person likes doing something or not. And the question must start with does, followed by the subject and then the gerund. Yes, and then the gerund after like. But if I'm asking someone himself if he or she likes doing something or not, I should start with do, not does. I say, do you like playing football? Yes, I will say, do you like playing football? And here we must note that I must end the question with a question mark. So, do a auxiliary, which I start the question with. Then I have the subject, and it's you, and like, and then the gerund. Now, let's move.